Good evening, everyone. It's my great pleasure to be with you to introduce Mingled Voices 6 for this, the Proverse Spring Reception 2022. I'm again very honoured to have been asked by Gillian and Werner to write a brief preface to the anthology, and it is also my honour to be able to say a few words now. As was the case in 2021, there are many excellent poems in this year's anthology on a wide range of topics and in a wide range of styles. And there's also a lot happening in the poems in the anthology, demonstrating the vitality and skill of the poets represented here. First, there's the freshness and diversity of word and phrase that replenish a language flagging under the daily assault of lazy imprecision, easy management jargon and careless cliché that passes for most communication. Drawing upon the diverse resources of English and other languages, the poets in Mingled Voices 6 jolt us into new perceptions or sensations through the careful use of everyday words. An example is Denise O'Hagan's In Limbo, in her simple, poignant image of a square of pale blue above the kitchen window as she recalls and makes vivid for us a moment of great sadness. Secondly, as we bear in mind that arguably all art is in dialogue with works of the past as well as with the world around us, our poets in Mingled Voices 6 include echoes of earlier poems and poets. We are familiar with how this happens in the built environment, as buildings that are torn down have their materials recycled into new structures. In this way, Neil Douglas picks up and runs with some swag and swagger from T.S. Eliot in his excellent Mrs. Charybdis, bringing an ancient myth into a modern setting and very appropriately so as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the publication of The Wasteland. And thirdly, in terms of the dialogue with the world around us, a world of seemingly endless possibilities, of choices yet unmade, a world, maybe, of quantum uncertainty, so the poets anthologised in Mingled Voices 6 show themselves to be open to the potential and radical indeterminacy of the world. A great example of this is in Jack Mayer's excellent My Indoor Cat, where, having initially concluded that the hand of God does not extend beyond my four-dimensional keep, the poet cannot wholly resist the wild theories of the physicists who weave webs of eleven dimensions made entirely of string. He is left with the mystery of the brittle stars, and also generously leaves us with that beautiful phrase. To end, I hope that you, like me, will enjoy the mystery and beauty of the brittle stars scattered throughout this admirable new anthology. Thank you very much.